For 12-year-olds in Singapore, a major exam called the PSLE decides the next few years of their lives. What happens if they don't make the grade? Alma, after all these years, I fail. Why? Two schools keep the faith in these students. In this school, there will always be a second chance. Hey! What? In this series, we gain never before access into these classrooms. No need to use this, me Many of you are so scared to give your answers, huh? so scared of failing. We meet the teachers and students who won't be beaten. Having failure is a decision, it is not an outcome. The best part is that Eureka moment when you do hit it. You do hit that sweet spot. A shoe with wheels on it. It's called a... Look, I got it. I understand. So this is what reading is about. This is school life as you've never seen before. Hormones and growing, puberty. <laughs> Don't judge us. We have talents. This week, Wei Tian and Wei Kang, identical twins with an identical problem. Ah. I wrong. I wrong. Because I'm connected to China. China. Over at Northlight, it's a double whammy for Kaiser. He's struggling with English and maths. That. And the mid-year exams are coming. Spelling, I'm not really good. I don't like la, spelling. When primary one, I had my first spelling, right? When I go back home, I was in the room crying. I mean, trying to just train for just one word. I'm trying, I'm trying. I keep failing. So after that, my mother scolded me, say why you never train, why you never try. Then I just keep quiet. La. Meet identical twins, Wei Tian and Wei Kang. They're 14 and class leaders. You go. Move back. Uh, Alif. Alif. Move. Okay. Nice. Gabriel, listen. Wei Tian in 2P1. Hey, Sabrina. Listen. Adieu, adieu. Stupid. Sabrina, Sabrina. Wei Kang in 2P2. Listen. Wei Kang in 2P3. They're confident with a skilled hand in their vocational subjects. Cooking for Wei Kang and hairdressing for Wei Qian. This is very well done. Come to this school, our only goal is ITE. So we have to go to our school. So we have to go to our school. What should this be? What is the best possible answer? This or that? So far, the twins are doing well, except in this class. English. The teachers here in APS always want the students. Support the students to be grateful. Remind the students to be grateful. With all the donations and contributions made by our community of partners. Partners, yes. Ah, I wrong. The next one is a punctuation area. What should be the punctuation area? Ah, wrong. Every year, Anything that it's verbally communicated, they know it perfectly. But if it's a written piece of instruction... When I was younger, I always wanted to have such technology. Yes. What? 
Are you sure it's S? Are you sure it's S? They will have a very, very uh, difficult time processing those information. Question 13 to 17. Did anyone get oh, this yeah. for that? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Excellent. Okay, how many? Uh, she first. Uh, oh, good. It's last. Uh. Really embarrassed. Uh. My English not so good. I then put everybody down. Everybody get uh, like 50 something or 40 something. I only get 30 or 20 something. We can can go. Reading is often a struggle. Okay. This Singapore. Louder, we can. Singapore and Malaysia. Can you hear? No. Oh. <laughs> it is what? Yes. Uh, no. Singapore and Malaysia announced please suspend Tuesday to. Bro. To. They can speak well, normal common English, but when you're coming to reading, they don't understand the word. Connected, oh, connected to China. China. Okay, Andrea, next one. First thing, we have to build their confident level because they already have the mindset. I can't speak, I can't read. Sure, I fail English. Many students enter Assumption Pathway and Northlight with a weak foundation in literacy. Sometimes they struggle because English isn't spoken at home. Other times, it's due to a disability like dyslexia, which affects how they read and write. They don't understand what's going on in primary one, and then after that, Say even if they pass a primary one exam, they go to primary two, they don't understand even more what's happening in primary two, and then they just get pushed up. When it gets to primary six, really there's a lot they do not know. In terms of literacy, that's really very low. She, she cried. All right. No, at my store food. Since as long as he can remember, 14-year-old Muhammad Kaiser has had trouble reading. The uh -huh. Look at the first letter. Okay, he is in the high-risk group for dyslexia and reads aloud by breaking words down into shorter syllables. Uh -huh. Okay, almost there. Would you like to try it one more time? So he broke down into an, an, as in an, an, and then like S W E R, and he left, um, he left the last three letters R E D. Unwed. Okay, I will help you a bit. Unswerved. Because he must have heard of the word before, you know, answered. Just that he couldn't link it in time, so you know he took a while. That's why we heard things like answer red. So what should it be? You have heard of this word before? Answer. Very good. Okay, answer. I never give up. Try and try and try. It's like pretty you try one time or two times or three times, then you like, Alama, I hate it, I cannot get this word correct. Must keep on trying. Keep on trying until you get the word correct. But in his first months at Northlight, Kaiser kept his struggles to himself. Teachers did not realise he was in fact confronting a double whammy. Not only in English, but also maths. Unknown to them, Kaiser could not even count. Each packet is supposed to be 10 packets. So if you have 8 packets, it will be... The only thing that makes, makes me happy is food. Uh, I'm to open in a restaurant. So that's how I want to become chef. That's my goal, that's my dream. That's what I'm focusing, that's what I'm aiming. And also to go ITE. Kaiser hopes to take up culinary arts at the Institute of Technical Education, or the ITE. 
but first he needs to pass his maths. He has another two years to work on it, but it's still a huge challenge. Maths is his weakest subject. My teacher say in the maths exam, right, the only one that scored the first question correct out of the class, every class member score is me. I scored the first answer correct, but it is all wrong. But Kaiser is not alone in wrestling with maths. Hmm. Just remember it's at the number three, number three. Okay, so one hour. So what do I do? Maths is the reason many students failed their primary school leaving examination. You only want three hours, right? So this is one hour. Two hours. Three hours. Do we need this? Do, do we need this? No, no, no. no. The first thing they, they come to their mind when they see the word math or math lesson. They're like, ah, I can't take it. It's maths. I hate maths. For the math. These are your items. Okay. Pass. This task will be time. Yes, Alif, you look ready for national service. <laughs> the challenge for teachers at North Light and Assumption Pathway is to make maths more fun and less scary. These kids need to be employed at the end of the day. Maths in grams. Grams. So what unit is this? KG. Kilogram. So do you have the right unit? Uh, they really need to have some skill set, and math is important. For example, knowing how to count money, knowing how to tell time, knowing how to calculate discount or what discount is. F. What? No, you must tell me the volume. 150. 150. Then you count again. Five, ten. What would you get? Seven, Okay. Monday afternoon, maths with Miss Tang. The class of 2A2 is learning about 24-hour time. But one seat is empty, Kaiser's. Eight minutes, uh, 83 million and 6,000. This is where Kaiser goes for maths. And five. Very good. He gets specialist coaching because his learning needs are more severe than his classmates. Can you read the number for me? Eight million one hundred and eighty thousand and eighteen. Did I say one hundred eighty thousand? No. no, I did. How many thousand did I say? Six and. 18. 18, okay. So where do we have to change? Kaiser has been struggling with maths since primary school. It is only at North Light did teachers realize the extent of his problem. Start. Okay, because there's so many digits, right? So what do we do? Like Kaiser, many students at North Light and Assumption Pathway have some form of learning disability or special needs. And the problems sometimes go undetected until the students are older. So these two are correct, right? Figure out the rest. Chin Xiaoyun conducts intervention classes for such students at Assumption Pathway. She's been coaching this year for a girl who has a unique problem. After means what? Which direction? This way or this way? This way. This way. The teacher came to me and says, This girl can't measure. That's all the teacher told me. She's in baking, but she can't measure flour. I tell her to measure 200 grams, and she will pour 100 and something. Then I say, is that more or less? She doesn't answer, she just keeps pouring. Exceeds 200, moves into 400 grams. She keeps pouring. If the concept of more or less is not there, very likely this child is not even able to sequence, meaning 100 comes before 200, which comes before 300, which comes before 400. Miss Chin is using picture cards to teach the student how to identify sequences and patterns. These are the foundations for maths and literacy. Still something not too right. So if these are correct, then what's left? After five months, the girl is showing improvement. Good thinking. Okay, so now you tell me the story. In my 20 years working with kids with special needs, there was never a single case where the child cannot 
The only time the child could not, at least temporarily, was when the child decided, I can't. Mixing. And then after that? Yeah, you have to talk, you have to give an answer. Very good. Now we're going to mix the ingredients together for red bean soup, OK? After more than a year of specialist help, Kaiser is doing much better in maths. Very good. From not being able to count, he's now able to do simple ratios and fractions and might soon rejoin the rest of his class. The school now plans to give him specialist help in reading and spelling. It is amazing that they can actually catch up so fast you know, when they go to our uh, coaches in a pretty short time. In primary school, if you could pro provide more of this support right from uh, primary one, that would help them in their command of the language and that would also help them in other subjects. And eventually to pass their PSLE. And yes, I think if they had all this help throughout, I believe you'll be, uh, they would actually have a much greater chance of passing their PSLE. Kaiser and the twins soon face their mid-year exams. How will they measure up? I'm a little When I get back the people, I surely will know that I passed one. I surely will know that I passed one. Well, I passed It's exam season. You should do a study card. Don't take the exam study. Many students will pass their maths and English when they come to North Light. So, no need for anyone to feel scared or nervous. I got the confidence now. I'm not like my friend, like, Oh no, I hear exam. Oh no, I need, I need to be stressed, frustrated. Oh no. Just calm yourself. <laughs> uh, I think I'm scared. i I get the sense that Richard and Vietnam tend to put the pressure on themselves. Sure, if I don't do well, will I be able to get promoted? Sure, uh, who got the highest mark? All these little things show me that they want to do well. It's one week after the mid-year exams and identical twins Wei Qian and Wei Kang have just gotten back their results. At Assumption Pathway, the overall grade comprises not just their paper scores, but also marks from class presentations and the oral exam. I did a good job. Wei Kang didn't score well on his English paper and failed the subject. English may have been a disappointment, but Wei Kang did well in other subjects. In fact, he came in second in class for Infocom Technology. Everyone is very happy. It's not a bad thing. 
因为平常都是我拿最少分的。Hello, Kaiser. Hello, Mister. How was your day today? Good. What do you say just now? Over at Northlight, Kaiser is getting his English paper back from Miss Tio. He's already been dealt one setback. He didn't pass his maths. Okay, you also need to have. I'll show you paper one and paper two. Okay, this is paper one. Whoa. Okay, and okay, this is paper two. Whoa. In my mind, I was like very happy. So, like I see when I get back the paper, I surely will know that I passed one. I surely will know that I passed one. Thirty-five and a half. Upon seventy-five. Okay, this is the overall score. But then once when exam paper comes, I see the mark. I didn't even see that it passed. It was low marks. Looking at the paper, I said to myself, "It's okay. Never mind." So how? Which means? Which means I tried my best. You tried your best. Excellent. That's right. I I don't like. Uh, when they put failure or fail, it's like the person tries so hard for the exam, in the end they fail. They all feel like so sad. I was like uh, uh, feeling like, oh, why so many X on the page? Then I just keep quiet, like just pretend the X is not there. Kaiser may have failed his English paper, but that's only 30% of the overall grade. Besides oral exam and class presentation skills, what matters at Northlight is also your attitude to learning. This is graded too, and this is where Kaiser shines. After adding everything up, Kaiser passed his English. So I think we are trying to send this message that you know, um, while the, it is important for us to work towards the final grade, I think the attitude behind it. It's equally, if not more important. Nothing is impossible when you have the right attitude to start with. I think failure is a decision. It is not an outcome. So as long as you decide to try and try and try again, you can never be a failure. 以前嘞是感觉最后一名没希望啊，现在嘞是最后一名，继续努力啊。When you fail, just Tell yourself it's it's okay. There's always a next time.